What's going on, y'all? This lady Nika coming back in. Um, I'm up late night tonight, and I, I'm not, you know, I'm not having no depressed moments or nothing like that going on tonight, y'all. I just took a nap early, shit in my ass up, so I feel like talking about some stuff. We gonna call this shit in the news. And, you know, stuff I seen on Twitter. So, it's just going to be a little video of me just discussing, giving y'all, you know, how I feel about some stuff going on. First thing we're going to talk about that I seen in the news is, um, well, I didn't see the news. I saw this on Twitter. It was about, uh, you know, after Sunday night's show of Real Housewives of Atlanta, it was a lot of, um controversy that came up because apparently, you know, the Nene stands and Porsche stands, you know, you know, uh, all them good team shit, dick, dick chasers. I think that was what uh, say we both call them team dick chaser. But anyway, uh, she had made, apparently found a video where she made some derogatory comments about, um, dark-skinned people, you know, and Honestly, y'all, when they had their big shave fist at that table that night, I, I I heard what Nene said about the half breed, and I thought that was kind of, you know, I took it as the bitch was hitting below the belt because, you know, because she really, she had got red for dust. So that's what I took it as. But to hear the next day that Claudia said the same, you know, through the same type of shade, but it was a couple years ago. This Look, this is why I stand with this here. I don't think that... Nene or Claudia was right in making those type of racial comments. Okay, Claudia grew up by her own admission hearing a, you know, a lot of negative stuff about herself because she's of a mixed breed. So she know what they feel like. So for her to say that, I feel like that was inappropriate. Now, don't get me wrong. I rocks for Claudia. I like me some Claudia Jordan. I've been liking her photo housewives of Atlanta. I just like her style. She's tired. She, you know, the way she act, she type bitch I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? We can go hang out and I can get out them basic bitch apparels. But, uh, you know, basic bitch need a little too late. That was Sean said. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't think that either one of them saying that. Now, it's bad enough y'all standing, y'all sitting at this table throwing shout at each other like that. And yes, Nene, girl, you did get red for Bill. She read your ass for Bill. You and Phaedra got y'all just deserves, in my opinion, at the table. But either one, you know, both of them was wrong for saying what they said. It's, you know, just arguing like that. But then to, you know, go that far and start talking about body parts and, and making racial slur, you know, that's not cool. I'm not with that. You know what I'm saying? I say some shit too. But I'm not going to say anything like that because to me, I've heard some very hurtful things growing up as a little dark-skinned girl in a family full of, you know, predominantly light-skinned people and stuff. I had to hear a whole lot. I mean, you know, they used to call me little small dark when I didn't like that at all, honey. I had problems with that from the beginning. But I don't, I don't, I'm not, you know, I'm not one of them people that just be like, Claudia, you, you bitch, you know, you wrong for that. If I'm going to do that, then I'm going to have to say, Nene, bitch, you wrong too. So, both of them was wrong for slanging that kind of salt at each other. Although, you know, ain't no fair fight. Ain't no fair read either, but. They did. Do I think they crossed the line? Yeah, they did. Okay. So, Claudia, check this shit, bitch. Get it together. Uh, next thing I, I, I saw on the news, and I, I actually saw some of this here, was the other night, Nancy Grace had the rapper 2 Chain on the um, show. And the question was, you know, they were discussing the legalization of marijuana, okay? My thing is this right here. I don't have a problem with Mary Jane. I didn't have a couple conversations with her my damn self. You know, I you know, people use it for medicinal purposes. People use it for, you know, leisure and recreational purposes. To each his own. I, all I can tell you about how I feel about it, I don't have a problem with marijuana whatsoever. If that's what you do, that's what you do. I'm not going to sit here and, you know, try to jump on this pedal and say, oh, marijuana shit is illegal, it's wrong, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's what you do, you know. As long as you do it responsibly, I don't have a problem with that because I feel like shit. Uh, alcohol, you, if you're over 21, 21 and over, you can go buy as much of that shit as you want to and sit right up there and you can.
could die of alcohol poisoning from too much of that or cirrhosis of the liver or something like that. So I'm not going to, you know, sit here and jump on a high horse about that. I don't have primary one of you, so don't bother me none whatsoever. I, I don't care. I tell you one thing, I'd rather you be on marijuana than your ass be on crack. Because, see, a crackhead didn't come in my house. I mean, a, 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 wee, a, a stoner didn't come in my house, go in my freezer and steal my briskets about four years ago. But a crackhead did. So, you know, I ain't got no problem with a person that won't smoke weed. That's, that's on them. Let them do them. You know, live life and live life abundantly. Do you, child, if that's what you want to do. I don't have no problem with it, you know. And for me to sit on here and try to say something negative about it, be like kind of like calling the pot calling, you know, pot calling that kettle black. I can't, you know, I ain't gonna do that, boo. That, that's hypocritical. Hypocritical, and that's not who I am, you know. So I don't have a problem with that. I think that the way she came at him was kind of wrong. I feel like she tried to catch him up. I think she tried to, you know, cast him in a negative light. And but again, I also commend him on how well he handled it because. He didn't, he didn't lose it. He held his composure. He, he spoke his truth. He told it how he felt it, and that was it. You know what I'm saying? Even when she tried to throw the kids in there, you know, uh, talking to him about do his kids, you know, smoke weed, you know, him smoking weed. He's like, my my house big enough, my children on one side of the house. I'm on the other, they don't know nothing about that. And then, you know, he 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 also let on that during his college years, he, he sold dope, you know, sold weed or whatever. She's like, what you want your kids to do? He gave her a real answer, same kind of answer. I would have told her, hell no, because I did it and I did it so they ain't got to do it. You know, we all got to pay a shit. I don't, I just, I don't really teach his own, baby. It ain't affecting my life. And I don't feel that, like, that I ain't never seen no stoner. Fuck no shit up, steal from you. Uh, you know, I ain't never seen that. We got a couple of symptoms, y'all, and it usually goes like what Kat said, you know, happy, hungry, sleepy. Shit, that's that what it do. Just make you social, that's all, you know. Uh, what else we I, I heard in the news this week? Um I talked about Nancy and her boo and shit. I talked about Claudia and her boo and shit. Um, I like them Golden Globe Awards. I, I didn't get to catch them all, but I got to go back and watch James's um, recap of it. I, I, I wish I would have caught that, you know, because I'm kind of in the dark about what that, you know. And you know, see things I want to do this week coming in, you know, well, do this weekend possibly. I want to go see that movie Selma. If I go see it, yeah, I'm going to do a review on that one because I'm really curious as to, you know, how that shit, you know, how that, how that's going to be. Y'all, this is what I'm scared about. Let's talk about this shit here. Now, y'all know that Whitney Houston Bob is going to be showed this week, girl. I'm, I'm so nervous. I'm nervous because Angela Bassett is a, attached to this project. And y'all know that if this thing don't go right, they're going to eat her for, baby, they're going to eat her up. They gonna make memes like they did Wendy Williams and, and everything else, but and then it's coming off a lifetime. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. You know the last few biopics, uh, uh, lifetime and did been kind of shitty. You know that Brittany Murphy thing that was sad, hon. And the way they portrayed Aaliyah, I was so mad. I was like, are you kidding me? I mean, not only did you not have any music, but did nobody look like the character they was playing? I mean, you got. Oh, uh, R. Kelly looking like the dude that played R. Kelly look like Joe. I don't know. Missy look like like she was on crack. Uh, Timberland didn't look right. I, so it kind of got me kind of scared. But I'm going to tune in and I'm going to review it. You know, I'm going to be back here with y'all. Tell y'all what my take is on that bullshit. But I I don't know. I'm, I'm really nervous because if this thing don't go right, y'all already know. Angela going to get eight up. Uh, they going to read my girl. Oh, baby. They going to eat her alive. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? They are going to tear her up. What we call down here in the South. South our brand new ass. Mm hmm. That's what they going to do to her. So I hope that the shit is all right. But either way, anyway, either way it go, y'all. I'll be back up in this thing. I'm going to review that show. I'm going to review that uh, biopic. I hope I ain't got to go in. Oh, I hope I don't have to go in, because y'all, I love me some Whitney now. 
you know, in another life, I was with in Houston. I ain't lying. So I understand the struggle, you know. I ain't go as far as Whitney went, but in another life, I was with Houston, you know. Dex coming in another video. We're going to talk about this shit, too. But I hope it, you know, I hope that they do what they supposed to do. And I hope that it's a, you know, at least decent depiction of her life. I, I, that's what I hope, you know. But I'm I'm be here to review the shit for y'all, you know. Two reviews you can damn sure best believe you gonna get. You gonna get that Whitney Houston biopic, and you gonna get that American Horror Story that series for that uh, season finale. That that right there is guaranteed. If you don't get shit else next week from me, you gonna get you gonna get that over the weekend. Uh, the Whitney Houston thing, and then you gonna get the American Horror Story. And I told y'all I'm not gonna do. Empire, and the reason why I'm not gonna do Empire is because I know what my abilities are, and I don't think that I would be able to recap that show as well as some of the other YouTubers that are doing it. So, you know, I always know when to touch something and when not to touch that. I think I'm gonna just stay on the comment section of other people's videos and just watch it because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna review that, y'all. I, I don't think I can do it justice. What else we talking about? Oh, uh, oh, y'all! I got a date next Saturday night. I'm I'm come back in uh next week after the date and tell y'all about dinner. I'm also make a video tomorrow. Let y'all know how much I told y'all I had lost 128 pounds last visit. So I'm gonna let y'all know tomorrow just exactly how much you know I I really have come to I've slimmed down and I'm, I'm gonna try to see if cause y'all my computer. Y'all, I'm going through. I got to give me a new one. So, I'm doing these videos by my phone. And that's why I'm having so many different problems, you know, with lighting and positioning and, and all that. And I really am trying to get this camera that I want, y'all. It's really nice. I seen it down there at the Best Buy. I told my son about it. I actually told my son, y'all, yesterday that I, I made YouTube videos. Y'all, he was like, you should have been doing that. And I'm like, what? He said, you should have been doing that. Mom, you have a voice. People want to hear you. And people like talking to you. They can relate to you. So, you know, I think he subscribed to my channel. I think I got an email saying he subscribed. I ain't even know, girl. I was so excited. Yes, I was. I'm talking about my oldest boy now. I ain't talking about, you know, my baby that's going through, you know, the one that's going through the come on wide, you know. But, anyway, I just wanted to come in and just do a general. I don't know what I'm calling this shit. Uh, I'm going to call it in the news. No one call me. When I just talking shit and this shit that I done seen on the internet and on TV and you know stuff like that, I'm just calling in the news. This is gonna be my in the news section segment. So in other, you know, in the news and shit. That's what it's called. In the news and shit. So it said twelve fifty five. Yeah, I've been eat. I've been lucky. They have. They've been letting them, these bitches upload out over 10. So I'm not gonna push it and see if I can do it 15 minutes. I'm gonna cut this whole on off. But I'll be back in here uh, with the video tomorrow about, you know, the weight loss journey. Um, and then I'll come back the weekend and I'll, I'll review the uh, Whitney Houston uh, 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 biopic thing. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take it from there. In the meantime, in between time, um, y'all, please like, comment, subscribe. And everybody have a wonderful night. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.